Hi foodies, we're getting right into this chicken, okay? We're removing that backbone just to make it easier to grill and um, it's just easier to season it. You get a more even cook, I find. So you can use very sharp scissors or a knife and all you're doing is cutting on one side and then flip it, cut the other side, remove that bone. I've done this before on my channel, so some of you probably I've seen this already. We call it spatchcocking the chicken. Okay, so it's a spatchcock chicken. Um, you might see it um, labeled as butterfly chicken in some grocery stores if, you know, they provide that at your grocery store. So once you remove that, you can leave it for, you know, soups or broth or stock. Or you could just season it and grill it along with the whole chicken. So we removed that bone and now you're just going to cut into that wishbone. You don't need to cut through because we're opening the chicken. We're not cutting it in half, right? So just cut through a little bit and then we'll flip it and press down. So put your hands at the top of the breast and just press down and you are good to go. You can clean your chicken however you like. Leave that skin on though, okay? And you don't have to remove all the fat. Remember that you're going to be grilling it, so most of that um, fat is going to drip off anyway. Now for seasoning, I'm using some badia complete, some paprika, crushed allspice. Then I have green seasoning, a little bit of jerk seasoning. You can use more if you want, and some soy sauce. Any salt and pepper, you can just add that to your liking. And then what I do is I just rub some oil into the chicken and then I'll apply the seasoning all over. Remember when you're seasoning too that you need to lift the chicken skin. So the thigh and the breast, make sure you lift that skin without ripping it of course. And just rub the seasoning under there. You can prick the chicken flesh with a small knife and get some more seasoning in there if you like to do that. But, you know, just generally just massage the seasoning into the chicken properly. After I added the seasoning to both sides of the chicken, I just put it in a Ziploc bag and then massage the seasoning in there even more. And then I'll leave it in the fridge for a day. Overnight is good. You could also flip it over so you could do it for 12 hours and then flip it over and let it continue to marinate in the fridge. All right. And then the day when you want to do your grilling, you're going to make sure that it's between 300 and 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Grease that grill and put your chicken right in there. You want to do skin side up first. So I already greased the grill. I just put in the piece of the, the, the bone there and the chicken goes in skin side up. While the chicken is on the grill, you want to prepare any sauce that you want. So you could mix sweet chili and barbecue, which is what I did here. Or you could do whatever other sauce you prefer. Then check on the chicken after 30 minutes and flip it over. Skin side down now and you'll see that beautiful color beginning to develop. Now you're going to brush on the sauce. And the possibilities are endless. You could do a jerk sauce, barbecue, sweet chili. You could even try my Jamaican baked chicken sauce that I have right here on the channel. I did some of that to go with the rice. But um, whatever sauce you like, just brush it on all over the underside of the chicken. 
while the skin side is down then once you're done doing that grill it skin side down for 25 minutes now remember that you are working with a grill so you can you know check on the chicken you know maybe after 10 minutes check on it and shift things around if you need to to avoid burning okay after those 25 minutes we're gonna flip the chicken again and at this point it has a much better color and you're gonna apply that sauce to the skin side now Now it's time to do 20 minutes. So we have this sauce applied, cover the grill. You wanna close the grill each time, okay? And do 20 minutes right now. After those 20 minutes, you can check the breast to see if it has like an internal temperature of at least 165 or about 160. And if it's way lower than 160, you just need to grill it a little bit longer and then you are good to go once the chicken is cooked then you can put it to rest or you can turn up the heat a little bit put that chicken sauce side down just to get more char get the sauce a little stickier and you can crank up the heat if you want to get that last minute color and then serve it make sure you let the chicken rest before you cut into it because all those juices will run out if you don't let it rest so just cover it with some foil after that you just remove your foil cut it up if you want to if you want to chop it up that's fine slice it thinly whatever you like okay i made my jamaican baked chicken gravy so that's what I had it with and um, I did some rice and lamb and veggies and this was scrumptious. So for this barbecue season, definitely give this a try and you know what, you can change it up to make it your own. Use whatever seasonings and sauces you like. Thanks again for joining me. Take care. Bye bye.